Hello and welcome to another episode of Pause for Payments. My name is Christy Duncan and I'm really excited to have with me today Jessica Padilla Yanez, IT Innovation Director at Davidienda Bank. Jessica is a fantastic at both innovating as well as networking and is based in Bogota, Colombia. Welcome, Jessica. Hi, Christy. Thank you. I'm really excited to be here with you today. Excellent. Today, we're going to talk about the whys, the wheres, and the hows of networking, especially in the middle of a global pandemic. There's lots to explore, so let's get started. Jessica, can we start by talking a little bit about your career journey, your role at David Yenda Bank, and how you got to where you are? Can you tell us about that? Yes. Um, the first thing I want to share with you is I am an engineer. I dream with be an engineer uh, since I was really young and I am um, an electronic engineer. And after of, co of college, I start to work in the ICT minister here in Colombia. Uh, in this role, I can understand, understood how technology can improve the life of the whole population. It was a very exciting stage in my, in my career because I had the opportunity to bring internet and devices to uh, kids in all the corners of, of my country. And I, I think that internet uh, and technology in general, uh, uh, it's a very powerful uh, tool to uh, improve the develop of the nations and also to help to um, um, improve the um, life conditions of many people in, in countries like my country. After of government, I moved to bank. Um, four years ago, I started my uh, currently position in the Vivienda Bank. And here I have a new technology lab where we um, adopt new technology in order to improve our products in order to be more efficient for our clients and also for improve uh, internal process. That, that is my job and it's really exciting. My lab um, is uh, conformed for two kinds of profiles, all of them engineers, uh, some of them millennials engineers that we uh, recruit um, in college and others engineers are seniors engineers that help us to make a, a very exciting merge between um, tradition and innovation. Um, that's why we have, uh, we have today uh, the, the unique uh, um, project or product based on blockchain in my region. And I'm really proud of, about that. Wow, so that's fantastic. I love how you're combining engineering and banking and helping people and pulling in the blockchain to the innovation stream at David Yenta. Awesome. So you've got this fantastic career. Um, Jessica, can you tell us how did networking play into your career journey? Network, networking is the key of the success, I think so. Um, in my life, I had the gift of the life to connect with a lot of people that, that helped me to build my, my own mark, my, my, my own brand. So I, 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 I need to say, say you, Christy, that networking is fundamental in order to build uh, skills, uh, strong skills, and in order to reach the success. Um, I think we need to be thankful for people around me um, because without them, I can't achieve my goals. Yeah, indeed. Can you give us some examples, Jessica, of how your network has helped you in your career? Yes, I want to start for my bosses, all of them, the ministers uh, of ICT here in Colombia, always uh, lead me to achieve my, my dreams. Um, in my life, 
they, all of them men, I need to say, <laughs> I always report to men because engineer is a club for, for men uh, and, and them um, always uh, motivate me and inspire me to fight for my dreams. Um, I report for four ministers here in my, in my country and I need each one of them to achieve my career today. And, and I, uh, I also need to say you, in bank, the CEO of my bank is a man also, and is always very generous with me and, and, and always share it, the, um, his vision in order to light my life uh, for the next step in my career. Fantastico. Wow, and that's uh... can I can I add um, this is how I understood networking in in in, in, in personal relationships in, in, in physical relationships, but also I found a very huge value in uh, virtual networking. Uh, thanks to social networks, I can um, meet with a very fantastic woman, Christy Duncan, uh, <laughs> one, 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 my friend Angelica from JP Morgan, Morgan Bank, um, connect me with, with her and I'm very thankful with the life for the opportunity <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you for that. Tell me, why do you think it's important that women in this industry build strong networks? Why is it so important? I think women have the ability to connect with all of things, with emotions. And I think that this um, ability is fundamental and, and, and very important to connect and to, and, and to push up organizations and and, and communities. So I think that our role, like women, is um, belief belief that we, we can make a change in the world. If we if we work together, we can make amazing things. Indeed, and women are often called the connectors and the collaborators to make things happen in ways that uh, are can be very effective. So we've talked about why networking is important. Can you tell us a little bit about what makes a network strong? What makes your network strong? What makes my network strong? What, what do you think that is? I think that aligned, um, aligned um, ambitions or aligned um, dreams, it's the key for networking in the life we are connecting with a lot of people, but some of these people have your, your same aspirations. And when you can connect and find at this point, you can build together and make a, a major impact. Yeah, I love that. The secret sauce of networking is aligning our visions and our objectives. Thank you. So. We've talked a little bit about this pandemic and um, we're all stuck in this together. And many of us are just not even leaving our houses. We're not going into the office. We're not going out to conferences or, or networking opportunities. How can we continue to network in this lockdown environment? Any, any hints on that? Any? Yes, technology. Technology is the answer. <laughs> I think technology allows us to connect even when we can't share the same physical spaces. So I, I want to insist social network is fundamental to build the new concept of society. And I want also mention to you, I think that blockchain, for example, is a technology that is an older or an invite 
de, de networking. Tecno, eh, eh, blockchain is an invitation to work with transparency, with secure, and also with efficiency um, over a technological platform. So I think technology is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, certainly we're all, we've become very familiar with Zoom and Microsoft Teams and what's to happen in all these different ways that we can connect. How do you do that? I, I know I've been busy. I'm sure you've been, we've all been busy over the last year, but how do we continue to get out there and meet new people and build new relationships when it's so hard to, to do that on, you know, on a flat screen? How do you, how do you think we can do that? How do you connect with new people and meet new people? I think that we need to be more creative in order to understand that our life change, definitely change. So um, find the new way to connect even with the screen. And if we can the opportunity to connect physically, take the advantage, take advantage uh, quickly in order to to make the power people. I think the power people is also important, but I think our life from now and before is a, a, the merge between digital world and physical world. Yeah, the two have really blended together in the last year. We've seen that in spades around the world in all, all aspects of our life, personal and, and uh, business as well. And I know I've been doing almost as much networking during the last year as I do face to face when I go around the world to different markets. And I, I actually find that now it's a whole lot easier when you send someone an email and you want to talk to them about X or Y. It's like, let's talk about this, but let's do it on a, on a Zoom call. Let's do it face to face, even if they're on the other side of the world. Or if someone sends me an email and says, you know, I want to talk to you about this. We've never met before, but, you know, can we chat about something? And I say, yes, let's do it by Zoom. So I get a better opportunity to see, you know, see who you are, to meet and greet in a way that I might not do um, before the pandemic, unless I happen to be in the city where they're based. So lots of opportunities. The other thing I find is you know, getting on to social channels and you see someone's posted something really interesting and say, hey, I really like that. I'd love to hop on a call and, and talk about it a little more. And people seem to be much more open to that than they were before this pandemic. Yes, yes. I'm absolutely agree with each word that you are said. I think that actually we, we are now different. We are a, a new society, Christy. And this new society have new rules, like social, social uh, interactions. But I insist we need to uh, fight for search physical space. It's important also the power people. Yeah, no, it, it's it's such a great comment for sure. Um, this has been a great networking discussion, Jessica, and I want to close with a question that I ask all of my guests, and that is, if you go back to early stages in your career, what advice would you give that younger Jessica who's just starting in her career? Oh my God, very interesting question, Christy. Maybe, more confidence. When I was young, I have a lot of doubts about myself and maybe I lost some opportunities for, for my fear to fail. I think it's very important now that we are enough that we are like we are. This is my advice for myself. I love that. Don't be afraid to fail. It's, it's so true because we're often taught that failure is bad and not that failure isn't a learning opportunity. 
And I remember working at a big bank and thou shalt not fail. Um, but I think the banks have reframed that and now they say fail fast <laughs> and then move on. <laughs> fail fast, fail fast. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously option number one is to, is to um, succeed. Option number two is fail fast. <laughs> <laughs> but today I think uh, fail, it's a kind of succeed because you can learn about your mistakes and improve and move, yes. forward, and move forward. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Jessica. This has been a really fantastic discussion. I love your, your thoughts on failure. I love your insights to networking and how technology can really help us do that in this crazy pandemic world. Uh, it's been a really, really great discussion. Thank you so much for sharing. And I look forward to all of our audience uh, joining us at online for our many pause for payments webinars and that we host with inspirational leaders from around the world of payments in the world, including Jessica. Thanks, Jessica. Thank you, Gritti, for inspiring me. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.